So to be present and aware, if you're washing your car, mm -hmm. but throughout the whole time you're washing your car or washing the dishes or having a shower, you're worrying or thinking, I need to do this, I need to do this, mm -hmm. I need to do that. It's automatic. Yeah. Well, it's automatic. We are on autopilot. Yeah, the over, you're driving. The constant thinking yeah. is, auto, is on autopilot. Mm -hmm. But were you really present with the car while you were washing it? Were you really present with the dishes while you were washing them? Were you really present um, with your... Um, I don't know, with your dog while you're, uh, while he or she is with you. Why do you feel it's important to be present while washing the dishes and washing the car? Yes. Dog, obviously, there's an emotional connection to that. But yes, yes, very good question. Because when we are slowing down this constant thinking, this constant voice, labeling or judging or commenting about every single thing in your life when you are slowing that process down you are more in the moment which means you are truly living in the moment and you will make better decisions because you will not immediately label a situation as right or wrong especially wrong you will not immediately judge yourself when you fail you will not immediately judge someone else just because they made a simple mistake. You will be able to know which tool, tool to use from your toolbox. Because if you're lost in your worries and overthinking, mm -hmm. you can't really make an informed, grounded, present choice. You see where I'm getting at? Yeah. So it's the power of looking at the bigger picture in, 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 in some situations as well. Yes, it's like... Can you really make a good decision while you're angry? Mm -hmm. So my question is, can you really make, um, truly live fully if you are constantly bombarded by the voice, mm. um, the commenting voice in your mind? It's an interesting concept. Can you, whether you can make a, a good decision if you're angry. Um, so let's explore this for a moment. Sure. Just, um, sure. So imagine yourself like, um, so anger stems from somewhere. Yeah. Um, you're angry for a reason. Perhaps you have been um, piling up certain emotions, certain thoughts, and perhaps you, you are reasoning things out. And then one thing sparked that anger and you took that decision. So anger in that situation was the fuel or the motivation for you to get the job done in, in, in regard mm -hmm. but I find my, even myself and, uh, when I, in, and when I talk to people is that regardless whether you feel proud of yourself for taking that decision because it might it might be that I had to take the decision to break up with this person it can be as simple as that yes. so um, this is the limit that person hit, hit, hit the limit and yes. you decide to uh, through anger you decide to to break up so it can be no, situation. it can be, it can be. But I still find that people and myself, you regret that you took the decision in a, in a, through anger. Even yeah. if it's a fuel, it's a form of regret because you don't feel, perhaps, and I'm re realizing just now, you might not feel as aware and conscious of in, in that moment you're so driven by emotion yes. that you're not 100 percent conscious yes. you, you, it feels like um you didn't take the decision in full control if that makes sense wow excellent uh, um, it's it's an excellent example all to go back to your question mm -hmm. to connect to it with mm -hmm. present being present and aware more in your life all the spiritual teachers, all the sages, whether it's Jesus, Buddha, or whatever, they all mentioned one uh, mentioned silence, Be quiet, quiet, silence. Find that space inside you. Find that quiet moment. Um, don't let 
the worries overtake you. And when you are practicing meditation or mindfulness or with psychotherapy, you are becoming more conscious of all your emotions, including your anger. Mm. In fact, let me rephrase my previous statement. Is there a difference between making a decision when you're angry and making a decision while you're consciously angry? Because I can speak to you, Daniel, while I'm consciously angry. And being consciously angry means that I am aware of my anger. And I am controlling it, not it. the anger is controlling me. So it's the sort of to make it simple as well as the difference between rage and anger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rage is uncontrolled. Yes, uncontrolled, yes. Uncontrolled anger, where yes. anger is... Um, it's purposeful. Yes, it. but I can be angry and I can tell you, oh, you've been the... And I'm not aware, I'm not rageful. But if I tell you, listen, right now, I'm really angry. I'm really effing angry. So I'm not just conscious of my anger, I'm also conscious of how I'm communicating my anger. Mm -hmm. I'm more present with you and with my anger, thanks to meditation, mindfulness and psychotherapy. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to communicate with you con consciously angry because this can no longer continue. Okay? We've been through this, and to use your example of a breakup, and this can no longer continue. Are you seeing the difference, Daniel, that if I can consciously communicate my anger, mm -hmm. I may not have the regret or as much as of a regret where you broke up when anger took over, controlled you rather than you control it. You have to be very aware of what you um, are accepting and what the thing that you don't want to accept and the things that you accept as well. So yes. that's a very clear boundary there. Uh, yes, 